Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron, we're going to be comparing five verses of Scripture, I think it's five, in the Legacy Standard Bible and the King James Version. Check out our other comparisons in the playlist. And before you comment, you may want to watch the ESV King James Comparison in Revelation, because usually it's the same questions and comments over and over and over, and I pretty much delete them if it's that way. So. 1622 of uh, first Corinthians King James if any man love not the Lord Jesus Christ that's Jehovah Jesus Christ curios there a box shows us that let him be anathema Maranatha and so in the legacy standard if anyone does not love the Lord he is to be accursed at Maranatha so notice we could anathema and all this but Lord Jesus Christ is missing I would say that is significant so let's go to another verse of scripture of seven of several 1547 we skip over several from this wonderful Bible version comparison chart 1547 King James the first man is of the earth earthy the second man is the Lord from heaven let's see what 1547 that's the deity of Jesus in the King James the first man is from the earth earthy the second man is from heaven notice the lord from heaven the curios jesus the is the god from heaven that's what's trying to be communicated so significant doctrinal changes um you might say well i, I think the legacy standard we, we go through all that in that esv king james revelation on why the king james did not add verses i've actually done entire videos on that um 1129 so let's go to first corinthians 1129 on communion we all should be taking communion 1129 have to do the old mom finger lick she used to do that legacy standard for he who eats and drinks eats and drinks judgment to himself for he does not judge the body rightly 1129 here says for he that eateth and drinketh unworthily eateth and drinketh damnation to himself. Notice how this totally refutes unconditional eternal security. You're, you're saved, then you're lost doing it wrong. Damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For he who eats and drinks, eats and drinks judgment to himself. If, if he does not judge the body rightly. It just totally, for he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, so it's just missing so much. And that's normally, it's a recension, uh, the newer text are. So, uh, this takes that out. One, well, I guess we're not going to do one last verse. We're going to do more than one. 1124, 1124, I miscounted. Okay, and when he had given thanks, he break it and said, Take ye, this is my body, this is King James, which is broken for you. Oh, everything he did was for us. This do in remembrance of me. 1124 here says, And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. This do in remembrance of me. Notice, take, eat. Take, eat. Um, 1124 um, we'll read, and when he had given thanks he broke it and said this is my body which is for you this, do this in remembrance of me as compared to and when he had given thanks he broke it and said take eat this is my body which is broken for you this do in remembrance of me so yeah pretty substantial differences there pretty big differences um, 1028 Yep, 1028. Have to get my handy dandy magnifying glass out. This is the King James. But if any man say unto you, This is offered in sacrifice unto idols, eat not for his sake that showed it, and for conscience sake, for the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. So 1028 in the Legacy Standard Bible says this But if anyone says to you, This is meat consecrated idols do not eat it for the sake of the one who informed you and for conscience sake look what it's missing for the earth is the lord's and the fullness thereof oh man again it's a recension it's it's a removal of words 927 no uh 
yeah, 927. Let's just go there. 927, 1 Corinthians 927. It says, but I keep under my body, this is the King James, and bring it into subjection, lest that by any means when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway in the Legacy Standard Bible, but I discipline my body, not bring, but I keep under my body and bring it into subjection, but I discipline my body. Look at this flagellation and make it my slave. So that after I have preached to others, I myself will not be disqualified. So notice, you know, one, you're disqualified from preaching. The other one, you're cast away. You're gone. You're, you're lost. Huge differences, even in the wording. Keep under my body, bring it into subjection. Disemploy my body, make it my slave. Stick with the word. God bless. We love you. Check out our other videos. We'll see you later. Join us daily. Bye-bye.